on the part three of the tutorial of Grinch text, um, it's going to be fairly quick, but we're going to add some more elements into it to kind of spice this up. Now you can probably tell it's already got the effects going, and if you guys don't know where I got this image from, um, check out the part two and part one of the Grinch text tutorial, and you'll find out how I got it. Now in this tutorial, again, um, surprise, surprise, we're going to use a photo. Um, with this photo, we can actually use a lot of um, different variety of photos, as I'm going to, as you, as you're going to see really soon. But I'm just going to bring in a photo of this garbage tra um, garbage can, or bin, and I'm going to paste this on, and I'm going to desaturate it, and then blast it again. Now in this one, I don't want to blast it too much. I want a good um, variation of um, grays and stuff, and you'll see why. It just has to do with my personal preference as well as it kind of looks cool uh, instead of being blasted black and white. And then we're going to go into this blending mode. Oops. Multiply. And as you can see, the white kind of gets kicked out and um, all the black just shows up. Now we're going to place this on there, but before that, we're going to resize this. It kind of put the photo in a good area. Uh, I'm going to use this part, maybe. Uh, maybe not. Okay. <clears throat> now we're. This is a strictly a, a texture technique, and when I what I mean by that is I'm just applying more texture into the grungy area of my document to just apply the effect of grunge. And as you can see, I'm just kind of erasing out the upper portion of the photo. Um, again, I'm using the eraser tool and the brush tool of the 27 size with the shape dynamics of size jitter and angle jitter and a brush tip and I just kind of narrowed the brush tip down so it kind of looks like a star and increase the diameter a little bit. And now I'm just going in and erasing it. Now I might want to kind of bring this up a little bit. Maybe rotate it just a tad bit. Now I'm going to do this really quickly. So I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to just erase any remaining pieces. Now we talked about text legibility. And I, maybe this is a bad example of maybe text legibility because you can't see it. Um, a good another good thing to do is if, if it starts getting um, really hard to read, you might have to go back and erase the part that um, you created. And I'm just right now I'm just having a <laughs> hard time finding the actual layer that create this part. Oh, it's the ink splatter. Okay. So now we have this going, and it, you know it kind of looks cool, but you know I can't really say this is the good best example of text legibility, probably because it's not. Now I'm just going to kind of erase this softly, and there you go. And then now we we're going to bring in the same photo again. And again, I made the mistake of not creating a backup. And then apply the multiply filter all over again. Yeah, maybe this time around we're going to try some try using a different portion of the photo. I'm going to erase this upper top half completely keep this part and just erase it and maybe go back and there we have it now we're going to apply a little cool Texture. Um, we can. Um, there's several ways to do this. You can actually put a uh, adjustment layer of a solid color. 
So for this one, I'm going to choose like brown. And we could change the um, blending mode on this. And as you can tell, we already got the cool little um, texture, brown texture going. Just to apply the color. Now this is completely optional. Obviously, you don't really have to do it my way. Um, you can choose to keep it black and white um, or apply a texture. Um, another way to do this is through creating another adjustment layer and maybe adding uh, hue and saturation blast the saturation and the lightness and just change the hue to like a brown and make sure to colorize on um, checkboxes checked and we have color now obviously this is just the basic idea of how I create my grunge there's various other ways there's a lot of other things and filters and combination of tools that you can use but I hope it kind of opened up your um, mind into creating something cool thanks for watching